Hello beautiful people and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Tandy Samahe and I talk all things business, making money and the family life. Thank you so much for joining us. If you are a returning subscriber, we appreciate your continued support. If you are new to this channel, thank you so much for coming through. Consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell so that you are kept abreast of when we put out a new video. All right, in this video, it is yet another Make Money Tuesday video where we teach you how to make money and get more money into that pocket of yours, right? If you're looking for other videos on how to make money, you can be able to check out our playlist that is Make Money Tuesday and find other different ideas that you can be able to make use of in this specific video though we are focused on how you can be able to start your very own events organizing business today let's get right into it the first step that you need to take is to decide on the kind of events that you want to do okay you cannot do all events now when it comes to events organizing i do not believe that you can be a jack of all trades okay i think that you need to be very very specialized and you can start by deciding what kind of events are you going to do are you going to do weddings are you going to do funerals are you going to focus on kiddies parties are you going to focus on corporate events what kind of events do you want to actually specialize in and do you want to focus on you need to make this decision because it's going to highlight all your other steps and actions that you need to take because it will be directed towards you attracting a specific target audience or target customers the next thing that you want to do is to decide on a special touch you know events are about memories and you want to leave lasting memories when your clients make use of your service when you organize the event you want someone to always remember your business that it was your business that helped them to have a certain kind of an experience so you need to find a special touch what do you want to leave with people whenever you do an event for them what what unique Feel, do you want people to have what emotions do you want to evoke in people when they attend your events what are you trying to achieve with all these events spend time in unpacking that so that you can have a unique kind of a feel a unique kind of a proposition that is going to you know stand out whenever a customer or a client wants to make use of your service or has used your services the next thing that you want to do is to of course register your business and ensure full compliance do not operate an events organizing business that is not registered and that is not formalized because people are going to think that you're going to scam them and run away with their money <laughs> they're going to think that you're not going to deliver and you know an event is a very very special thing to a lot of people because you know you're calling people to come to your event right as the client as the customer you have called a lot of people to come to your event your reputation is at stake your trust is at stake how you conduct yourself is at stake how people respect you is at stake a lot of things are at stake so it's very important Important that you already present reliability and professionalism through a registration and full compliant business another important thing when it comes to events that events can be very very visual so you do not want to sleep on ensuring that visuals are always in the faces of the target audiences that you have now you can be able to do this by creating a website and making sure that you are visible on social media those two needs to be well balanced you need a website for professionalism and reliability you need social media to make sure that your visuals in terms of what you can be able to deliver in terms of organizing events to be always in front of your customers. What you need to do is to invest a lot of time in making sure that aesthetics are in order and you take a lot of pictures, you take a lot of videos of the work that you've done and make sure that it's out there in the public domain, in your website, on your social media pages. Whenever you do a work, make sure that you put it out. Maximize on reels. Currently, reels are really blowing up. Make sure you put things on stories when it comes to social media platforms and make sure that your website is always updated and has a full user-friendly gallery. Now, events are also about ensuring that you are able to source things. So what you need to do is to then, in this next step, create a list of suppliers and create relationships with suppliers. You do not want to find yourself looking for balloons and not knowing where to get them. You do not want to find yourself looking to hire tables and you don't know where to get them. So make sure that you have in your local area or in the space that you're offering your services, you know exactly who you are supposed to link up with when you want them to supply you with certain things that you need within you know, your events organizing business. Make sure that you to create reliable relationships with these people because they are they can make or break your event okay if you are not in good terms they can literally make or break your event and you don't you do not want those things and don't uh, make your list of relationships with suppliers very short make it as, uh, as as large as you can because you don't want to rely on one or two people and then when they let you down you don't have any backup so make sure that you are known in that space by suppliers of the certain things that you can be able to source or that you will need to source when you are doing an event and then 
the next thing that you need to do is determine your pricing packages. Now, with events, it's very important to have packages. I have seen a lot of people around my space that are in the events organizing uh, business, and I think they kill it more when they have got pricing packages. Pricing packages can be based on what the client wants as well as um, the number of people that are going to be in the event, like the size of the event. Have pricing packages. Don't um, quote each item like one thing a plate a chair a, a tablecloth that's your internal work but when you're pitching it to the client it must be a package and most of the time when people want to do events they have a lot of money that they've put away that they want to spend maybe they have got fifty thousand they want to spend on their event or a hundred thousand they want to spend on their event so you don't want to be calculating things in front of them in bits and pieces you want to say this package is what is going to get you this is what is going to get you this is how many people are going to benefit from it and this is how much i can deliver it for you know Hmm. Do not forget this aspect. Be very, very clear about your visually appealing and beautifully presentable brand. Your logo, your colors, your tagline, your, your brand story, things like that. You need to have a very, very visually appealing kind of a brand that you present to your customers because this is events. The events are visual. They are about what we see and what we would like to see in our own events when we see it in other people's events. So do not cheat yourself by not focusing on building that specific, beautifully attractive brand for your business. And lastly, make sure that you tell everyone you meet about your events organizing business so that they know that whenever they have an event, they can be able to make use of your business. Obviously, you are going to be focusing on those people that are within your target audience or your target niche. And that is all you need to do in order for you to start your events organizing business. And then you can start events organizing today. I hope you gathered some knowledge that can be useful to you in this video. Drop me in the, in the comments section a question or a clarity area that you want me to um, assist you with and I will gladly do so. That is all from me for today. Until next time, stay absolutely blessed.